Okay, so I'm going to run you through probably one of the common penetration test failures, specifically on the internal penetration test, is the inability to reconcile with a primary user store. So by primary user store, what we mean is either Active Directory on-prem, Azure AD, or something like Google Workspaces, i.e. what are the machines that have access to your data, and how do you know that they're updated, have anti-malware enabled, and what vulnerabilities are besieging them. So this ability or inability to reconcile with a primary user store is, is one of the most common failures that we see. So let me just run you through how that works within RoboShadow effectively. So if you click on the synchronization page, you'll see the device sync. This is where you can enable and delete machines. But what's really important to understand is what machines have logged on to, in this case, Azure Active Directory that don't have an agent installed. So unless they've got a RoboShadow and an agent, or if this is something like Sophos Antivirus, you need to demonstrate that Sophos interacts with Active Directory to confirm that you've got every single machine covered effectively. So the way that RoboShadow does this is on this page, and you can see what agents have been installed or not been installed in this case, uh, so that you can track those down. I believe that we're even putting the username from Active Directory um, in this section also to just help you gun down those machines. So any one of these machines could be out of date or not have vulnerabilities updates or effectively causing your organization risk. So this is where we need to see as part of an internal penetration test that you have some way of reconciling this capability. So here is the dashboard for it. Uh, you can see that this has been updated and, uh, and running today as well. So effectively how you will do this is two ways. We do have Google Workspaces coming, but for the moment it is just Active Directory. So here you can add the account needed and there's some documentation here we're going to make this easier shortly but how you can set up the Azure AD sync get in touch if you have any problems with that but also from the download section there is an on-prem Active Directory connector which allows you to sync with Active Directory on-premise it will do both Azure AD and on-prem AD and reconcile those together for you before reconciling your machines if you want to be super advanced, but do get in touch uh, with any support issues around that. The only thing that I wanted to also show you is on the homepage dashboard, you can see one of the tiles here is effectively your agentless machine. So this is the number of machines in the last seven days which have been seen which do not have an agent on. So these is the number, this is the number of machines that effectively could be causing your organization risk. So to demonstrate that you have this enabled, this primary user store sync is a big tick for a, an internal penetration test or internal compliance in general. Thank you for watching.